In a previous video in my WSL series, I showed you how to get Docker up and running on WSL version two on a Windows 10 computer. But I had a lot of questions like, David, okay, so I've got Docker running within WSL, but what can I use it for? Can you give me some practical examples? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to pull Docker containers and launch multiple websites within Docker containers on Ubuntu running within WSL version two running on a Windows 10 laptop. I'm doing everything on this laptop, but I'm controlling the laptop using VNC from my Mac. That just makes it easier to do the recordings, but I am doing everything on this Windows 10 laptop. Okay, so without further ado, let me show you how to pull Docker containers, how to launch a website within Docker running on Ubuntu within WSL version two. In this example, I've got Windows Terminal installed, so I've got PowerShell running here. If I type WSL-L-V, I can see I've got multiple virtual machines running within WSL version two, such as Ubuntu, as well as Kali or Kali Linux. This is my default virtual machine within WSL version two. I'll launch the Docker dashboard and as you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of Docker containers downloaded. Now I've previously downloaded some of these Docker containers. Don't worry if you don't have them. The great thing about Docker is that if you try and start a Docker container and you don't have it locally, it will automatically do a pull from Docker and download it, install it and start it up for you. So Docker makes it very simple to share applications because everything is contained within this container. Makes it very simple to start new applications on your PC. If I go to settings, under general, you can see that I'm using WSL version two. I'm using Windows Home here, so that's the only option I have available. Under resources, WSL integration, you can see I've got Docker enabled on these two Ubuntu virtual machines. It's also enabled on the default WSL distro, which is actually Ubuntu 20.04. So on my Ubuntu 20.04 Docker PS shows me that I've got no Docker containers currently running. So I've got Docker installed, but no containers are currently running. So as an example, if I go to localhost, now this is running within Windows, and go to port 8080, nothing will happen. This will time out because I don't have a web server running on port 8080 on my local computer no web service currently running on that port. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a Docker container. I'm gonna map port 8080 on the outside to port 80 on the Docker container. So when I connect to port 8080 on my local host, it's gonna to map to port 80 on the Docker container. The Docker container has a web server running. I'm gonna start the getting started Docker container. So that's now running. If you don't have that running, it'll do a Docker pull. So you, you might see some different output to what I've got here. I've previously downloaded this, so it just starts it locally. But if you don't have it installed, it'll pull it and then start it. So if I type Docker PS, you can see that this Docker container with this name is currently created and running. This port is mapped to port 80 on the Docker container. So go to my browser and notice the website now displays. This is a command that you could run, which is very similar to what I've run. And you told that D runs the container in detached mode. In other words, runs it in the background. P allows me to specify the port. In my example, I used port 8080 to port 80, rather than what they did here of mapping port 80 to port 80. And this is the image that they are using. So as an example, let me copy that and I'll paste that in. Notice it says unable to find this image locally, so it's pulling that image. So Docker PS, I've got two images running. So localhost port 80. And I don't even have to put the port number in because the default is port 80. 
Notice I've got a Docker container running on port 80 and I've got a Docker container running on port 8080. I've got two Docker containers now up and running within WSL version two on my Windows 10 computer. So back in PowerShell, WSL-L-V, notice I've got this virtual machine running within WSL version two. Here's that virtual machine. And at the moment, I've got two Docker containers running. So let's start another Docker container. So what I'll do here is start an nginx website. I'm gonna give it the name my website. The port number that it's gonna use is 8081. So at the moment, if I go to localhost port 8081, this will time out because I don't have anything running on that port. So notice connection is refused. But if I start that Docker container, it's now running. So Docker PS shows me that I've got three Docker containers running. Here's the newest one. I'll refresh that page and notice I can see that a website is available. Now this is very basic. You'd have to edit this if you wanted it to do something. But NGINX is a very popular way of hosting websites today. It gives you a lot of powerful functionality. So you can have a look at their website as an example to get details, but I am running that website on my local computer. So these are again, websites running within a Docker container, running within Ubuntu 20.04, running within WSL version two on Windows 10. Okay, so let's start another one. In this case, I'm gonna run Tetris on port 8082. So, localhost, port 8082. Again, this will time out because I don't have anything running on that port number. What I'll do is keep that in the background and I'll start this. So that's now started and notice, you can see the page in the background refreshed and something's happened. So Docker PS shows me I've got four websites running. I can press spacebar and now I can play Tetris if I wanted to. So I can decide where to put my Tetris blocks. I won't bore you too much because I'm not great at Tetris, but as you can see here, I've now got an additional website running. In this case, it's Tetris as the functionality within Docker. The port number used here is 8082. Port 8082 is mapped to port 80 on that web server and there it's running. Now I could stop my Docker containers. So if I type Docker, I'll see various options and one of them is stop. So Docker PS again shows me my Docker containers. I'll copy the Tetris Docker container and type Docker stop right click to stop that Docker container. So Docker PS, notice that Docker container is no longer running. And if I refresh this, what you'll notice is my Tetris game will no longer work because I've stopped that Docker container. The same with NGINX, it's currently running. But if I stop this Docker container, so I'll copy that, right click, that is now stopped. So if I refresh this connection to port 8081, it'll no longer work. Now you may wonder, where do you get these Docker containers? So if you go to hubdocker.com, you can search for different types of Docker containers. Here's the Oracle Database Enterprise Edition. Here's Ubuntu. There's a whole bunch of Docker containers that you can download. So let's do Ubuntu within Ubuntu. Now, if I wanted to pull this Docker container, I would use the command docker pull Ubuntu but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run it and open up a bash shell. Notice how the prompt changed. LSB underscore release doesn't work in this Docker container. But if I exit, I've exited from the Docker container into my Ubuntu virtual machine running within WSL version two and the command works. This software is installed in this Ubuntu but it's not installed in this Ubuntu. If I run that again and go cat etsy 
OS release, you can see that this is also running Ubuntu 20.04 within Docker. So I've got Ubuntu within Docker, within Ubuntu, within WSL version 2 on a Windows 10 laptop. You could pull many types of Docker containers from here. There's many of them. Here's HTTPD. I've already demonstrated NGINX. You could also run Docker within Docker. Many, many options available here, and I won't bore you with all of them. Let me just show you once again Tetris. I'll go out of my Ubuntu Docker container. Docker PS shows me that I've only got those two running. Again, port 8080 doesn't work because I haven't started up my Tetris Docker container. I'll make this smaller, press enter now. It's booted up and this will hopefully connect. And there you go. I can press spacebar and start playing Tetris on a Docker container within Ubuntu. Okay, so that was a practical example of showing you how to get Docker containers, how to pull them and run them within Ubuntu, running within WSL version two on a Windows 10 laptop. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal. I wanna wish you all the very best.